Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday or whatever day it is that you're watching this. Hope you guys are ready for some cleaning motivation because I decided to head upstairs in my house and completely tackle my girl's bedroom. They have been dying to switch things around in their room. And with the layout of their room, there's not really many ways that you can move the furniture. But we just did something for now that was fun for them. It might not be long term, but we at least cleaned everything from top to bottom. We went through the drawers, we cleaned every surface, vacuumed, cleaned the baseboards, everything you can imagine we did to this room. So I hope you guys are ready for motivation and let's get started. So like I had mentioned, there's not really very many ways you can set this room up and my girls were just dying for a change and I kind of love changing things around too. I love moving furniture around. It makes a room feel brand new. So I just figured even if it doesn't make the most sense, it doesn't even matter. My girls were so excited to have their beds next to each other and we kind of moved things around a couple times just to see what would work the best. But the way it ended up being arranged, my girls were so, so excited and it makes it all worth it.
slam the door I door how we always end up on the floor We know how to push the buttons to the core Or I've got you If we figured out what it's all about Takes a second I ordered these initials for the girls years ago off Etsy And I do love them so much But I'm kind of ready to do something different with them Maybe mount them on some wood or something and also, I've been asked a few times about these nightstands. They were actually our old nightstands in Mark's and my room, but we didn't need them anymore. They were like a brown color, and I painted them for the girls, and they work out perfectly in their room. I took a little bit of a break while the laundry was going and ate some dinner with the kids. I went ahead and took out my contacts too. Sometimes it feels so good just to put glasses on. Mark was off with his friends and so I was just trying to really tackle a lot while he was gone and also tackle a lot before the kids needed to go to bed because a lot of this stuff was what needed to be done in their rooms. You know exactly how to look like this Holding in a bag full of goods and needs I need a night like this Knowing it's a risk cause you're using it You got all your secrets I can seem to move this thing you're Pulling me out and I'm right back in I'm on the side
it so you gotta hold on to me i remember the sound of us being loud so loud so loud just wonder where you're walking and talking thinking are you the same wonder how you're doing and moving through the crowds every day We recently had some friends over, including some toddlers, and unfortunately there was a permanent marker upstairs and it got used in several places, including on one of my girl's vanities. And I haven't really looked up the best way, but do y'all know the best way to get permanent marker off of the vanity like this? I don't really want to mess the paint up, so I need something that's not I guess super harsh but also can get it up I've only tried a couple sprays like mrs. Meyer sprays so I haven't really tried anything super strong I was thinking about a magic eraser but I haven't tried that yet My girls have the sweetest little dollhouse. It was ordered by their grandfather for them from a man who actually makes them here locally. And they have been asking me lately if they could play with the front and the back of their dollhouse. So I was trying to find a way to make that possible. And even though this might seem like a strange little setup, it just makes it possible for them to play with the front and the back at the same time.
Couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire Don't know how you got there but you hold tight my girls were such troopers through getting their room all cleaned up. It took a while, actually hours, because there were interruptions and, you know, we have to eat and things happen. But by the time we were finishing up, they were begging to get in the bed. And so I just went ahead and tucked them in and then got their vacuuming done. Since I got a good look in his eyes, I just knew that he was special. He said he wanted to take it slow, but I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level. Cause I wanted that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing this room go from complete chaos back to order again. And I just want to thank y'all so much because we just hit 20,000 subscribers. I still cannot believe it. I am so appreciative to y'all each and every day. And be on the lookout in my next video for a fun giveaway. And I will see y'all then. Bye. <laughs>